also tonight Paul Lynham on Dr Hewson's Victorian Troubles and Sound and Fury, the local band that's bringing America's controversial death metal cult to Australian audiences. That later, but first tonight, controversy continues to surround us, and from political demonology to the possibly subversive forces of rock music. Contemporary music has always created controversy. From Elvis Presley to the Rolling Stones to Madonna, each generation tries to outshock the last until there's no taboo left untapped. Death metal is the latest musical form to arrive on our shores. Full of sacrilegious lyrics and violent images, it's been blamed for a range of social problems in America. Now there's a homegrown version called Armoured Angel attracting a fervent following. Producer Iris Mackler joined them at a Sydney concert, youthful freedom of expression or an evil and dangerous influence. We'll leave you to judge and we should warn there are some disturbing images in this report. black metal, death metal, white metal, anything you want to call it, it's, it's, uh, it's just an escapism and a catharsis. And uh, it's a brutal form of music, uh, and therefore you need brutal lyrics to match that. <laughs> I'd say they're usually, um, you know, middle class white males. I mean, that's that's what kind of we are. <laughs> I don't know, look, it's just death metal. What do you think it is about white middle class males that makes them listen to this kind of music? Oh well, no, I'd say it's a it's a reflection of society and um, probably a, um, a post pubescent uh, testosterone overdose. <laughs> Your that picture, I mean, it is, it's meant to be provocative. I mean, I don't feel kind of remorseful or anything like that. But I think it's important to try and, for, from our point of view, to try and make people think about these issues. And if that's the only way you can get people to maybe pay a bit of attention, then, you know, so be it. So are you satanic? Am I? No, we don't. I, I'm, we're more atheists than <laughs> Satanists, I think. We treat it more as fiction, that sort of stuff. I mean, so, to me, uh, to me personally, the idea of a of a Satanist is as, as uh, um, ridiculous as, as someone who's perhaps you know, a strong, you know, Christian or whatever. <laughs> chief criticisms that's put about death metal is that it encourages young kids to commit suicide. What do you say to that? I would completely disagree. We actually took, pulled all the suicides perhaps in um, the western world over the last 10 years and um, found out how many people uh, listened to Michael Jackson. He probably sold more records than anyone else. You'd probably find that he was, you know, by that way of thinking would be the 
you know, the chief cause for suicide. I think it's the fear of something that isn't understood. Mm. And because, because it's about a rebellion, it's about a removal, you know, you stand apart. And that's what rock and roll has always been about. I can't see anything dangerous in it at all. Yeah. What about the lyrics that are all about Christ and, and killing God? And, um, well, it would be pretty hard to kill God, but um, I don't know, you can't really understand them, so I don't see how they could be very dangerous. Could be to people who are a bit psycho anyway, but then anything can set people off like that. So I don't think the music is dangerous to normal, balanced people. I oh, get it. Their carcass is locked up. Bum, bum. Bathrace! All the bad out here in the world! Freeze it What? Iris Mackler with Armoured Angel, coming soon to a rock venue near you, it seems. And just time now for a quick look ahead to a report we'll bring you tomorrow.